It seems that every few years or so, a company springs up with a decent pitch and backing claiming that they're about to reinvent the airship and return it to the skies. It hasn't happened yet, but could hybrid air vehicles be about to break the mould? Airships, Zeppelins or blimps, the lighter than airships are generally popular, Ties of Primo's Goodyear lucked in with their airships, and although they aren't a commercial tool for the business, they do wonders for public relations, delighting crowds as the mammoth craft flow impossibly in the air above them. However, they stop being popular when businesses look at the practicalities of flying them. There are estimated to only be 25 of the craft capable of untethered flight left in the world. There has long been a dream to use airships in commercial aviation, and despite their heyday being nearly 100 years ago, it does make some sense. With the lighter than air vehicles potentially filling a gap between the slow speeds of road and sea transport and the express nature of flights. The UK's hybrid air vehicles have an interesting history, and they claim their Airlander 10 is poised to enter service as soon as 2024. However, behind this, there is a long history of development. It begins in 1971 with aerospace developments, whose assets have then since passed through successive companies, airship developments, airship industries, Westinghouse airships, airship technologies, the Advanced Technologies Group, and the Skycat Group, which folded in 2007 with its assets moving on to hybrid air vehicles. As we still don't see airships floating between cities today, it's safe to assume the airship revolution has not yet started. HAV had a big breakthrough in 2009, however, when in partnership with Northrop Grumman, their demonstrator was selected by the US military to develop into their long-endurance multi-intelligence vehicle. They received over half a billion dollars in funding, which resulted in the HAV-304 successfully making a test flight in 2012. Unfortunately, the Pentagon canned the project the next year, and HAV brought the craft back to the UK, where it has evolved into the Airlander 10. The craft is described as a hybrid airship, with its elliptical shaped hull acting as a lifting body, providing aerodynamic lift, in addition to the lighter than air helium inside the envelope. It can stay aloft for two weeks autonomously or five days with a crew aboard, and its landing skids enable it to touch down on water or virtually any flat surface on land. However, the company are now pitching it as an eco-friendly passenger craft as an alternative to airliners on short haul routes. Although slower than a jet, the craft is fast enough to make journeys viable on city pairings up to 230 miles apart, which make up about half of regional flights. Routes proposed include flights over the Irish Sea from Liverpool to Belfast at five and a half hours, and Seattle to Vancouver in just over four hours. A Swedish company is also hoping to buy a craft and use it for sky cruises over the North Pole. Given the long line of past failures, it's hard to get too excited, but with environmental taxes on air travel only going upwards, the company hopes to find an opening.